Hello everybody. This video is important for all of you who are playing Arranger keyboards and you want to convert style from one Arranger keyboard to another Arranger keyboard. Lately I showed you in my video how you can convert style from Catron to Cork. I got some comments that is easy job because uh, of the structure of the uh, style uh, that has Catron or Cork. But if you have Yamaha style it is going to be very hard because of the structure of the style. But actually it is not correct. Every keyboard has the same kind of the structure and you can uh, convert um, styles from any keyboard to any keyboard. So, every keyboard is dealing with MIDI and markers. What is actually style? It is a MIDI file with markers. And operating system of any keyboard is pointing to the marker and playing that variation or playing that uh, intro or playing that part of the style. So, as long keyboard are using MIDI, but all keyboards are using MIDI and styles are the best made in MIDI format, much better in wave format, more flexible, more usable. Always we have opportunity to record those uh, styles to, uh, to uh, DAW, to any software. And the best software for that is Cubase. For handle MIDI files, recording, editing, definitely it is Cubase. I have several other software I showed you in one video, video that it is Cubase. It is actually truth and uh, there is not uh, nothing about do you like it or you don't like it. It is just fact that Cubase has the best options and most options to dealing with MIDI. So, now in this video I will show you how you can convert Yamaha style to any another keyboard style. Or, uh, for example, uh, yeah, Yamaha to Catron or Catron uh, to Yamaha or Cork to Yamaha or whatever you want to do. But let us now deal with Yamaha styles. I will explain you how they look and what is the difference between those styles and another styles. And then you will actually get idea how you can convert styles. I am not going to go through whole process. It, is, it would be a long video, and but I will give you idea what is going on here and you will understand how, uh, what is functionality of the style and how it works. Now I'm going to open Style Magic from Yamaha. Only difference between converting uh, styles from other keyboards, uh, 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 for example, Korg and Catron, uh, between Korg and Catron and Yamaha, the difference is that in Yamaha you have to use Style Magic. That's why, because Yamaha made our life more complicated. You, we have to go to the softwares and we have to lose some time. Other company, you don't need to do this. Just in Catron, change ex extension. And in Korg, you just export MIDI file from Korg, import it in Cubase, export it uh, from Cubase, import it in the keyboard, right away MIDI file, and it will make style. Uh, in the Catron, you just change extension, but in Yamaha, you have to use this software. Why? When you use this software, then you will choose one of the styles that you have. I have several Genos style. Those are factory styles from Genos, and you use one style, and you put it on your desktop, and you just drag it here in this program, and then you have style here. And then you can export this style, save as MIDI file. When you save it as a MIDI file, you have MIDI file. When you have that MIDI file here, now you just import that MIDI file in Cubase. Now I have one MIDI file in my Cubase. As you can see, structure of the MIDI file is absolutely the same in any keyboard, any arranger. It doesn't matter is that uh, Roland, is that uh, Catron, is that whatever is that. When you open it as a MIDI file, then you have structure of the style. You have intros, you have variation, you have fills, you have endings, you have everything there. What is difference? Difference is in the, in the name of the marker. That is what operating system from a particular keyboard is recognizing. And upon those information, it is pointing to this part of this MIDI file and playing that part as a part of the style. Now, those markers belongs to Catron. Uh, to uh, Yamaha keyboard. In last video you saw markers of the Catron and you saw markers of the Korg. They are different. They are on the same place, but they have different name. And upon those names 
keyboard and operating keyboard is pointing to them. Next difference is number of the MIDI track. So percussion in Genus are on channel 9. In Korg, percussions are on channel 11. Bass guitar in Korg is on channel 9. In Genus, on channel 11, MIDI channel. All other parts of the style, they have same channels in Korg and Genus, but not in Catron. In Korg and Genus, there are 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and in Catron, there are 5, 8, 5, 7, 8, 11, and 12. So those are numbers for other parts of the style. Now, when we have MIDI channels, when we have markers, we are done. We just export this MIDI file that is that we made or edited in Cubase that will allow us to point to the instrument. Look at now, it is pointed to the Korg. I am making it for Genos. Voila, there is Genos. And now in Genos, I have whole a bank, every bank and every instrument in Genos, piano section, electric piano section. So uh, uh, even uh, those uh, legacy sounds and mega voices, user sounds, everything is there. If it's that Genos, point everything to Genos, put proper uh, markers, put proper channels, export, and you have Genos style. And if it's that Korg, just tell that guy it is Korg PA4. If it's that uh, uh, Catron, just tell that guy it is Catron. And then go, voila, all Catron styles, all Catron actually sounds. You choose whatever you want to choose. You are connected with instrument. You listen, you do whatever you do and make for Genos. When you export as a uh, format number one, it will save all instruments. You don't need to do anything in Genos. Nothing. Octave, instruments, volume, mix. Everything is done here on the best software on the planet. Now, what I, uh, you will do now? You will just open Style Magic. And what you have to do in Style Magic? Not too much. Not too much. Just take that MIDI file, put it here. When you have that MIDI file here, you can continue if you want to work something here. But Style Magic is actually simple function of, of the Cubase. Just simplified, 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 taken, borrowed information from Cubase. So, and then you can do something here if you want to do, but you don't need to do anything. You have just to go to do validation of the style and converting to SF format style format and when everything is style format you can listen through this software and you can do changes but you don't need to do as i mentioned you can just now save it and make sure when you save it save it not to style format for genus you will save it to PS, uh, psr format let me oh not not here not here there prs format and now I will just give it another name. I will call it TM. Human music. And I will call it style TM. TM. Save it. And voila. Look at that style. We have style. And now what you will do you will just import that style in Genos. If you want to do something in Genos, you can do. But if you are skilled, and if you know work uh, how to work with Cubase, you can finish everything in Cubase. Believe me, all my styles I'm finishing in Cubase. I'm using this software just to convert from MIDI to convert it to style. Uh, uh, I don't need that to do, uh, if I want to do that uh, for Catron, look at what I have to do for Catron. Just instead of MIDI, I will put it. What is format of the Catron? What was format of the Catron? I have this. I forgot format of the Catron. Let me see what is format of the Catron. You know, sometimes you don't remember all uh, information. Oh, okay. Let me go uh, uh, there. Here, MIDI, uh, Genos, Catron styles. 
and uh, then go to uh, set. There's my set order, and go to the styles, pop, ah, KST. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. Sometimes it is just moment when I cannot remember everything. KST, and when you put it in its KST format, it is right away ready to go. But of course, you have to put proper markers, you have to put proper MIDI. I'm just telling you that you don't need any software to convert MIDI to Catron. And for Korg, you don't need even this. Keep it as a MIDI and just import it in Korg. So simple. So without any stress, without any problem. So now, as I mentioned, this video I made because of some people who don't know about those things. They were talking about some stories that it's something huge difference, construction of the style, structure, this structure, this structure. There is nothing. Look at that now. Look at, I will show you something, what I did, and it everything is going to be clear to you. Now, look at now. I am going open, going to open my template. A new template for Cork. Okay, style template for PA4. Open. That's it. I have names of my uh, markers and proper channels. Let us go. Open. Open it for, for example, I want to make style for Genos. Absolutely same like Korg. Absolutely same like Korg. Just different name of the markers and different name of the channels. Now, open it for whatever you want to open. Just open it, put markers, put channels, enjoy your life. It is so easy job. When you know something, then it's easy. If you don't know, you have to figure out, then it is a big deal. But that's why you have my channel here. And I'm okay with that if I uh, help you and give you all those things. Don't have anything uh, against that. So please subscribe and continue to watch my channel and you'll get a lot of nice information. Have a great day and see you in my next video.